In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MSI Afterburner on your PC so you can benchmark games, giving you info such as GPU and CPU temps and frame rates. Also, MSI Afterburner is free to download and use for anyone. Okay, let's head on over to MSI.com. The link to this page is in the description below. Once you get here, go ahead and click on Download Afterburner. I now have the file downloaded, but we cannot open the file until we extract it. To extract that folder, you will need 7-Zip, so if you don't already have it installed on your PC, head on over to 7-Zip.org and download 7-Zip. The link to this page is in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip installed, let's go back to that MSI Afterburner folder. You want to right click on it, go to show more options, and then you should see 7-Zip, and go ahead and select extract here and then you will get your msi afterburner setup file we no longer need the zip folder so let's go ahead and right click on this and delete it and let's open the setup select a language it's english for me welcome to msi afterburner next go ahead and read the license agreement if you want and then go ahead and accept it next Make sure you leave Reaver Tuner checked. I will show you guys what this does once we have everything installed. Next, select where you would like to have MSI Afterburner installed. I'm fine with my C drive. If you wanna change that location, go ahead and hit browse and select where you wanna install it. Next, you can select a start menu folder where you would like to create the program shortcuts. I'm gonna do do not create shortcuts and install. Now it's asking please select language again, but this time it's for your Reaver Tuner. I'm English, okay. Welcome to Reaver Tuner setup, next. Accept the license agreement, next. And this time we're gonna select the location we wanna install Reaver Tuner. And I'm also gonna install this on my C drive, next. And once again, I'm not gonna create any shortcuts, install. Reaver Tuner has been installed, finish. And MSI Afterburner has been installed. This time I'm gonna make sure I uncheck show read me and we're gonna go ahead and leave run MSI Afterburner and finish. We are now in Afterburner. Let's go over here to settings. That will be this gear icon. And then we're gonna go over to monitoring. Now right here where it says active hardware monitoring graphs, this is where you can select everything that you want displayed on your screen while you're gaming. Now you can select whatever you want, but I'm gonna pick the most important things, which I consider is the GPU usage, GPU temps, CPU usage, CPU temps, RAM usage, and frame rate. So I'm gonna leave GPU one temperature highlighted, and I'm gonna come down here to show in on screen display, now, if you look back up here, next to GPU one temperature, you should see NOSD. That means on-screen display, meaning you will see it on screen when gaming. I'm gonna select this next one, GPU one usage. Come down to show in on-screen display. Okay, so both of those are on. Now let's scroll down and find CPU temperature. So I selected OSD on CPU temperature. Make sure you actually select this one that just says CPU temperature and not one of the CPUs with a number and then temperature. Scroll down to CPU usage and we're gonna turn that on as well. And once again, make sure it says CPU usage and not CPU one of the numbers. Now in case you guys are probably wondering what these numbers are, well, each one of these is how many cores you have. So if you have eight cores, 16 cores, you can turn each one of these on for each individual core. And it works the same way for the CPU temperature. But I prefer to just see the CPU usage and temperature as a whole. But it's your choice, of course. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see RAM usage. And the last thing we're gonna turn on is frame rate. That's right here. Once you have everything labeled as OSD that you want displayed on your screen, go ahead and go to the bottom, select apply, and okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and open Reaver Tuner. I have a shortcut here on my desktop. If you guys don't have a shortcut on your desktop, go down to the search bar, type in Reaver Tuner, and you will find it here. 
to actually see the display, you want to come down to the bottom right of your desktop, click on show hidden icons, and this icon right here will be your Reaver Tuner. Now go ahead and click on this. Now what Reva Tuner does is allows you to customize all of your on-screen displays that you selected in MSI Afterburner. So for an example, you come down here to on-screen display palette, you can select the color that you want your on-screen display to be displayed in. And make sure to choose a bright color, something that will show up no matter what game you're playing, like this bright green here, then hit OK. And if you want to increase the size of your on-screen display, just drag this up and it will make everything bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out. Now let's go ahead and load up a game so you guys can see what the on-screen displays look like. And I will be loading up Horizon Zero Dawn. Here I am in the game and if you take a look in the top left corner of the screen, you will see my on-screen display that is showing my GPU temp and usage, my CPU temp and usage, my RAM usage and my frame rate. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will catch you in the next one.